Dun, da, da, da. I want to push the buttons. You're pushing my buttons. How are we going to take um, a differential equation and put it into a computer? Right. Old school methods before all the nice computational software that's out now is rewriting that um, DE as a system. And here is our system for rewriting the DE as a system. Here we go. Write a differential equation as a system. The first thing you're going to do is you're going to introduce n. That's going to be the order of the original differential equation. n, new variables, yes. Why don't we just arbitrarily call them u1, u2 through un, yes. Where, notice now, u1 is y, or the solution, and u2 is the first derivative of, and un is the n minus one derivative of. You're just going to label them. Yeah, and then you're going to solve the original DE for the highest derivative. Okay, why? Because that'll be your u1. Oh, no, it won't. It'll be, all right, we'll see. Now we're going to substitute in our new variables into this salvation, if you will, and then we're going to use our computer. And down here, I got a little note. What's this note say? Um, consider this one. If we take the derivative of this with respect to y, what do we get? Um, u2. Yes, y, because the derivative of u1 is y prime. What's y prime? It's u2, and so on. And this is how we're going to set it up, where this derivative just happens to be the function that you solved for in step or the derivative differential that you solved for in step two. Let's see an example. So why don't we see a few examples of rewriting these differential equations as systems so we can push the buttons. Yes, put it into a computer. Here we go. First step, we want to define new variables. I'm going to say u1 is equal to y and u2 is equal to y prime. Then what do I want to do? Then I want to solve the original one the original differential equation for the highest derivative. So here we'll see that y prime prime is equal to, wait for it, x minus y prime plus 2xy. Now wait a minute, shouldn't that be a minus? Yeah, it should. Because when it crosses the bridge, it has to pay the toll. All right, so now what do I want to do? I want to substitute, I want to substitute in my variables, my new variables. Y prime was u2, so here we'll see y prime prime is equal to, wait for it, wait for it, x minus, that's um, u2, two goes down here. Man, I think it's about time for a break. Okay, minus two x and u1. Now it's time to set up our system. Ready, 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 ready. Yes, here's our system. We want it all in differentials. Why? So that we could use our slope fields and um, other alternate, al alternate forms of Rundkunta method and Euler method in order to approximate a solution to this system. Yes, here we go. Ready, ready? U1 prime is equal to what? U2. And then U2 prime. What's the derivative of u2? It's y prime prime. Oh, there's y prime prime. Oh, so it's going to be equal to x minus u2 minus 2x u1. So now we have differentials in terms of our new variables. And one last thing we need to go through and we need to redefine our constraints. Yeah, here we're going to have, wait, y is u1. So then u1 of minus 1 is 1. Fun. And um, u2 of minus 1 is 0. Oh, and that's it. That's all. Nothing left but a box and flower. I want to see another one. <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Over here, here we have um, a third order. Look at this. It's nonlinear. <laughs> Nor is it homogeneous, but we can still use this process. We need to define three new variables. Yeah, here we're going to say u1 is equal to y, and then u2 is equal to y prime, and u3 is equal to y prime prime. Go ahead, get used to it. And then we're going to go and we're going to solve this for its largest derivative or highest order derivative. Ready, 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 ready. I'm ready for a little y prime 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 non-step and skips and I encourage the viewer to check these steps yes 
This is going to be e to the minus x minus sine y minus x y prime prime y prime. And all of that is going to be divided by, wait for it, x squared. Okay. Now, I'm sure if I messed up on that, you guys will blow up the comment section. Okay. Ready, 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 ready. Define our new system. Yes. How's that go? Why now you, you, down, 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 one prime. What's u one prime? u one prime is y prime. What's y prime? It's u two u2 prime. Yes, the derivative of u2 is y prime prime, which is u3. u3 prime. Yes, that's y prime prime. So then I can go and I can throw that in there. This is going to be e to the minus x. Yes, minus the sine of, wait a minute, what was y? y is u1. Okay, minus x times what was y prime prime? That was u3 times y prime, which was u2. All over that x squared. You can equivalently lay right, 1 over x squared out front. Wait a minute. Redefine our constraints. So then u1 one of 1 is 1. OK. What else? u2 of 1 is 0. And u3 of 1 is 1, and we're done. Yeah, give it the boot. OK, sure, maybe some laces. I don't know. Thank you.